Assalamu alaikum alaykum everyone today uh, i'll be telling you about how the communication goes on between server side and html so communication between server side and html in service portal okay so let's get started so uh, what i'll do i'll just uh, uh, make one uh, card in uh, my home page and uh, i'll just print the number of records uh, which has state new okay so we can see that there are total 10 records so just i want 10 10 in the output so what i'll do first i need to create a widget let's name it uh, incident state new state Okay. I'll just save it. Now it is loading. It takes time. Now I just will I will mention the class here. I'll make a card. Okay. So let's write the CSS of card. I think so everyone knows how to write CSS. I'll write box shadow. I'll give zero four pixel eight px zero RGBA 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.2 I'll give okay next uh, padding 16 next text I want it in the center whatever text you will write in that card and obviously I'll give the background color as white background color okay that's it so I'll just save and I'll just preview to see whether the card is coming or not yeah see this is coming now this work is done what I need to do is I'll just have to print the number of rows which has state new in incident table. So I'll just make an object which will glide record in my incident table. And uh, I will add either you can do add query or you can do add uh, encoded query. I'll it's better I'll do add encoded query because I can directly copy the query from here and it is copied and I'll just paste it here and then inc dot query if inc dot next first I'll see uh, gs dot add info message inc dot get row count okay it will just give print here in this with the how many uh, rows are there in the incident table let's see whether it is working or not so yes 10 is coming okay now what do i have to do i have to print inside the card so what will i do i'll make a data object dot total row I'll make it as an array because I'll push this 
uh, row count inside this array how to do that I'll just write data dot total row equals to inc dot get row count okay uh, and now this data can be used here directly we'll just have to give two braces because that's the way how you have to print in HTML data dot tot row so I'll just save okay you can see that 10 is coming inside this widget now what do I have to do is I'll just show you in my home page so my home page is opening so if you see that if I click in my home page so the ID is home page 2 and currently it doesn't have anything okay so I'll open that page and I'll add this widget inside my this page home page 2 because ID is home page 2 you can see here So I'll open in the designer. Incident state is my widget. If I open in the designer, it is getting loaded. Okay, uh, there is no uh, container currently, so I just have to add any one container. I'll add this one. Okay. So there can be 12 widgets in this container because I've selected 12 and uh, 12 rows. So I'll add incident state. See here it came and I'll just put it here. Okay. So 10 it is displaying and if you just refresh or refresh this page. See it is coming automatically and if you want some more thing like uh, where is my widget okay I need to open it this is my widget I'll just add one statement so I'll add it here total number of new state in incident okay and I'll just save it if I just refresh my home page so here we go total number of new state in incident is 10 that's it guys for uh, that's it guys for today thank you thanks for watching